Hey everyone, welcome to Sydney. Don't mind that the bed isn't made, the bedding's behind me. We'll get to that. I'm kind of adjusting to Sydney again. And I also forgot my lipstick. So if you guys have any lipstick recommendations for videos that are also hydrating, please let me know. Anyway, today's video, we're doing another apartment renovation. I know, we've done a lot recently. I hope it's not too many. I'm just really enjoying renovating apartments. So we're on a roll to fully renovate all of San Mai Shuno. I think we're doing very well. And I wanna use the new kit that came out, which we'll talk about soon, cause I haven't really had a chance to talk about that yet. But I thought today I would like to renovate the Feng household here. This is an existing household when you get the Sims 4 City Living. It's a very modern monochromatic apartment. And it says, Victor is a respected and high powered politician. Lily is a tough businesswoman. Their respectful yet somber nature masks their sinister secret plans to one day take over San Mai Shuno. Oh my goodness. I didn't actually know that about the Fangs. I didn't know that they were kind of evil, so that's kind of crazy. What does that mean, their secret plans to take over San Mai Shuno? I guess rule it. And then this looks like it's one of the land grabs apartments. Oh, it literally says land grab apartments, so yeah. So a bit more about the apartment, though the exclusive address is reason enough to take this dazzling suite. The upper level loft and floor to ceiling windows certainly add to the appeal and it has a great view as the only locked in lot trait. So four grand roughly for a weekly rent, holy moly, and deposit is 17 thousand simoleons. Let's check it out. Uh, I'm gonna go into live mode so we can check out the sims a little bit more and this is not gonna be a family apartment because these two sims are very career driven obviously. So this is gonna be maybe a bit more of a glamorous vibe with the new modern luxe kit. So this is the building. Wow, the land grabs really are loaded to be owning this building, holy moly. And it is two stories, so let's just have a look inside. I actually quite like this floor plan, like there's definitely parts of it that I wanna change. For example, I'd probably, oh no, my camera's blurring. I'd probably utilize this area over here. Maybe we can, turn this into like a butler's pantry. This looks too close to the window. Why is, that's odd. Why is that sitting in this wall? That's bizarre. Why would you put that there? Cause this is like a decorative screen. So I don't know, maybe that was a mistake or an oversight. Look, the apartments are always very interesting. Uh, this bathroom needs some work. What happened with this floor tile? That a lot. Glitch. Maybe it was reversed. But like, I like, you know, that there's the this wall in the middle to kind of separate the rooms. I like that there's an office area. Uh, the kitchen is, you know, a fun shape. Maybe we can continue the curve idea or the bar idea. Uh, this staircase seems a bit random in the middle though. I think I'd like to move that. And then up here, I think we could probably make better use of this space. Uh, maybe completely redo this area, actually. I mean, it's not that bad though. I just feel like this doesn't have to be as open as it is. And maybe we can put a staircase like closer to the entrance. Um, so it's not so far to the other side. And yeah, it's very monochromatic, lots of fun. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna spruce it up. Now, do these Sims have any skills we could work with? So Lily, does have a one fitness level skill. Lily can go to the gym. Logic, level nine. So maybe we can put a chess table in. Violin, could pop a violin in. Lily wants to be a mansion baron. Oh my gosh, and she's a CEO, level nine. Charisma, logic. And then Victor is a representative, politician, level eight. And it doesn't appear like anyone's having an affair, which is a shame, because we love the tea. And yeah, he just wants to be fabulously wealthy. So they just want to be rich. They don't really have any other interests. So let's just make them look quite rich and glamorous. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start with deleting some stuff. I want to use different counters. I like the double stove top though. That's cool. Oh, look at all of this flooring underneath the cabinets. How it was going in a different direction. I wonder how they ended up with that. This is so strange, this little bit in here. And yeah, this whole area is, I wanna redo all of this. I think we should go with a dark brown flooring. So it's still quite classic and classy, um, but just to add a little bit of warmth, I guess, to the place. 
And then what I want to do with this little area here is turn this into a butler's pantry. And actually, we could push it back one tile like this. And what I think we could do is have these counters like running into the butler's pantry. Usually I wouldn't put counters in front of windows, but what they did have previously. Not too bad. And then maybe it would make more sense for a curved counter to come out this side. So we can put the dining there. Curved counters are really in right now, like this kind of shape. Bring this across one more too. Okay, yeah, that's nice. We can have bar stools there. Maybe some cabinets that come this way. Right, just a rough idea. Well, maybe the dining table could like come over here and we do a double-sided fireplace. Like I'm not really into the L shape, so I might bring that in. And then maybe instead of having like one thick wall like that, we could build this out so that the fireplace is a more inset into the walls here like that. Actually, we really need some lighting in here so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I know clearly we have no walls above it, so we're gonna have to fix this up, but I'm just gonna chuck it all around. Okay, maybe we need to bring that back so it's not as closed in. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And then over here, we could have a piano because pianos are a flex. Like a grand piano is a flex if you don't play it. And you know, they they want to just be rich. They want to take over Sam my Schooner. Let's give them that uh, grand piano over here. Okay. And then we can keep the lounge room over on this side. That will push that across. And then we'll put the couches like maybe like that. We'll get different couches there. And then this, I... I don't really like this being open as well. I'd rather turn this into a separate room. Also, I feel like for an office, you want a bit of privacy so you can work in peace and quiet without hearing the kitchen and the TV. That's the only problem with like open plan homes. Like I love open plan because I just feel like it's so nice and airy and it just flows, but sound travels like crazy. And it doesn't really matter in The Sims, but I'm gonna delete your shelf. Okay, so that comes across here. And then the staircase, I just think it makes more sense to have it on this side but we're gonna need to build some floors first. All right, let's put a staircase here. Okay, let's put maybe a bathroom here. Maybe that can be like the main bathroom for upstairs. Then this could be a bedroom with a nice big ensuite here, like the main bedroom. Then another bedroom over here, the bathroom maybe. And then we could have another bedroom or gym or something, or maybe a second office. Because we've got the downstairs office and both of these sims are very career focused. So that could be good. So this could be an office. What is this in the world is that? Oh my gosh, it's a half wall in another apartment that's sticking through. That's so weird. I don't really like how this wall isn't in line with this one. And maybe we can make this a little smaller. We really need some more options for like big tall doors that are just a single door width because these just look so short you know i mean we have the eco lifestyle ones which are fantastic but they have this big metal frame on it which looks really nice say on the exterior of a house or in like a brutalist house but it's it seems like a bit much in apartments i really wish they made it without that or or two versions would have been perfect that would have been the sweet spot i'm just saving my game because i made a little bit of progress um with just putting some basic matching bathrooms in, of course, the city living talking toilets, lots of fun. They're definitely going to have these if they're flexing a bit. Uh, I also thought a laundry would fit in nicely over here. And definitely if you guys do download this save game and you don't have laundry stuff or you don't want to play with a laundry, um, you could just block off this room or turn it. Actually, maybe you could fit a, a sauna in here somehow. It's possible, but that's just um, the downstairs bathroom right here. And I blocked off this little triangle. Then we've got the office here. And then I just played around with the bedroom shapes a little bit. And I think this is probably the nicest because it allows these walls to be even here a nice landing that looks down to the lounge area and the office space over here which could be another bedroom so that's looking pretty good so now that we've done the guts of the build now is the fun part which is the furnishing 
I also quite like um, these cupboards kind of being this irregular shape. I don't know, just as something different. So we do have the new modern Lux stuff pack, which came out. And as you guys can imagine, it's all modern and Lux. So we'll try and use every single item from this in our build today. We also got some wallpaper, uh, which is really nice wallpaper. It's like this, this is called wainscoting. It's pretty cool. It's definitely giving me a very glamorous vibe, of course. So we can use a lot of this. I really like the gray. Maybe we could do like a gray bedroom. There's also a pink, which is pretty cool. Um, there's white and gold, the navy's divine, black and gold. Uh, so yeah, we can have lots of fun with that. Let's just go with this simple one first. And I thought this would pair nicely with the book nut kit, uh, this wood paneling wallpaper that came with that. I really like this paneling. I feel like it looks very classy. And once we dress it up more with, um, you know, decor, I think it's gonna look really good. Oh my gosh, I just did the whole apartment. That was too much. And the other thing we got was some sophistic sophistico tiles. And I don't I believe these are necessarily floor tiles. I actually think these look more like ceiling tiles just because they seem to have the look of like an edge, you know, that you could kind of trip on. So we can definitely put that on our ceiling and that's what it looks like. So it's a bit of fun. Oh, I think the brown would look really cool, but maybe not like for the entire house. Let's say if we did it in this office, that's pretty cool. I reckon the decor to the max kit would go really nicely with this kit. I love this yellow couch from Decor to the Max. I think it'd be nice to have a little bit of color. I don't think we'll go full maximalist though. Maybe we can use this like behind, behind uh, the piano. I love this new chair. We could do like a navy theme in this room because this is like a, this, this can be a dining chair, this smaller one. And this is designed to go with this new vanity. We haven't seen a vanity Vanity except for the was it vintage glamour stuff so that's very exciting that there's another pack you can get a get a vanity in oh that's right we had the wainscoting pieces from the maximalist kit which we could do like a, a feature wall here to dress it up a little bit maybe if we use a different fireplace like this one. Oh yes nice that looks so cool we should do a blue and gold theme in here. And I love these new paintings. These are awesome. They're very fashion focused. A lovely new plant there. This is a new rug. It's got like some fun different patterns on it. And that or maybe the blue. Oh, the brown's quite nice. I like the brown. It has a new side table, but I'm not really feeling the side table here. Oh my gosh. And it has these amazing lights. I really like these. And these look so cool. And they come in a couple of different shades of gold, which is nice. So we can probably pick the lower hanging one. Yeah, they're slightly darker in the gold. I'll make sure it's actually over the table. I wish we did have a double sided fireplace here. I've been trying so hard to find a spot in my house in Melbourne where we can fit a fireplace and it it's just not gonna work. Oh, we also got singular cushions in this, which was very surprising to me. I did not expect the Sims to do that. I've seen a lot of custom content with singular cushions which is cool and we got some more curtains with a middle rod um which you know i use the desert Lux curtains all the time that are a similar style so it's nice to have these ones these ones are a little bit more maybe a bit more traditional looking we just want to go white so do we want to go like the blue i think the blue's like too much blue the brown's pretty cool i mean the blue's beautiful the brown's beautiful the cream's beautiful the white's beautiful i mean it's really at the end of the day it just subjective personal style. The gold walls are a lot, but it's kind of cool. I mean, is it a bit over the top? Yeah, what the heck, let's just do it. Now I've got to make all of these down lights gold to go with the rest of the house. I know the perfect side table that we can use. It's this gold one from Growing Together. Oh my gosh, that is perfection. Ooh, we can check out this new lamp. Oh, they're quite small, but that that's nice. I like that it's on the small side. Oops, I accidentally tiled that wall. Oh wow, that like fits perfectly into this wallpaper. This is just from City Living. Oh wow. 
nailed that. I think we need two statues or two plants here on either side of the fireplace. Oh, I just realized these kind of look nice together. That was from the plant kit, I think. We could do the bamboo. Yeah, this is looking very other lights. We could go like this, or we could use these. I kind of like, they're a little bit old school looking. I think it kind of works. That's perfection. Okay, I guess the kitchen could have a few more decorative items. I've got all the appliances here in the butler's kitchen, like microwave, coffee maker, dishwasher. We can get a classic fruit bowl, maybe this cupcake stand. Oh, my voice. We could put a traditional Chinese tea set in here too. Maybe that... I'm actually not sure where it would usually go. Maybe in the lounge room. Because I believe Feng is a Chinese last name. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think we'll do the blue teal herringbone tile in the bathrooms because the grout kind of looks a little golden to me with the marble flooring. I don't know if that's just me, but I feel like it looks a little golden. And I've created this little entrance area. Should we get a blue violin in here? Yes, because it goes with the rest of the room. Imagine having musical instruments to suit your room. What should we put here? Oh, there's also the My Wedding Stories piano, but I feel like it's a little too, too much. We'll go with the clean, classy, minimal one. What can we put here? Oh, that's right. We wanted to do a chess table somewhere. This one's the one from high school years. And we can fit a chess table here. I'm quite impressed by that. Maybe we can change the color of these chairs. Oh, that's a gorgeous little spot for them. We can do the piano man painting. Perfect. I'm loving this apartment. Now for a rug in this room, if we're doing the yellow couch, I feel like maybe we do just like a brown rug in here, size that down. And then we want to get these new armchairs in. I mean, we could go with these teal golden armchairs. I really like those, but I really like these new cream ones too. Let's do the cream. Some of you guys were requesting a full blown maximalist apartment. And I feel like we should try and do that for another apartment. I mean, we're going from monochrome, like black and white everything to this. So that's already quite a jump, I think for the Feng family. This is such a beautiful coffee table. I just love, love the flowers on it. If we just go something simple like this rounded coffee table or maybe this marble one. We have a lot of gold accents in this apartment. I actually think we could even put two of these together. Does that look weird? I just realized these plates are in surfaces. I feel like they should be in decor. No wonder I never use these. You can stack them. I was looking in surfaces because sometimes I like to use these uh, tables from get to work to make like my own custom coffee table. I'm gonna get like a interesting shape. I don't know, it's creative, you guys. It's a, it's a bit of fun. It's a bit of a laugh. Oh, you know what we should put in here that massive maximalist lamp with the dangly bits this one whoa this is a moment okay i love that i'm not sure if we need curtains in this room as well like it's gonna look really dark i mean i guess i could use the curtain rods and like place them further apart oh where are the curtain rods oh interesting i feel like it looks like there's not enough fabric you know I guess that doesn't look so bad. But is it weird the curtains aren't all matching? Like the brown looks really cool in this room. I guess the cream goes with like the rest of it. So perhaps that's what we should do. Oh, you could put this plant in the middle of the table. No, I actually like putting this on a coffee table. I just size it down and then I move it upwards, put it in a matching color. And I think that looks cool. And you can even make a second one, like a miniature one. I like two halves of an egg or an avocado, like a set. I go like that. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. I think it's looking pretty cool. My dog has joined me. It is time for his walk, so he's very excited. <laughs> You know what's really cool? I can cover up these cushions, which I've never liked those cushions. I don't feel like they go with the couch. Like I know the whole idea and point of maximalism is to clash, but I like to, to make it match. I'm just gonna use these new cushions. They don't like sit up on the couches automatically or anything. And if your Sims do sit down, uh, the cushions will clip into them. So I've put a black cushion here to tie in this coffee table. And uh, you know what? The more I look at this coffee table, the more I'm like, I don't know if it's going with the room very well. Uh, I guess it does kind of work because it goes with the black fireplace. But yeah, this cushion's like meant to just kind of sit on the ground, I think, as a decorative thing or up 
on a shelf. So it's not ideal, but it's definitely a nice addition for anyone who's a bit more experimental with building like myself. So you can have fun with that. Also, this is a TV that looks like a picture frame. So if you go to watch TV, just fast forward here, um, the picture will actually turn into a TV, as you can see there. And then when they turn it off, it'll go back to a picture frame. So that's cool. I think it's a little small for this area, so we might save that for one of the bedrooms. Uh, but that's another fun item that came with the kit. Should we do a repeat of our bamboo on this side? I am not a fan of bamboo because bamboo is so invasive. Like you can't get rid of it once it starts growing in your garden. And our neighbor planted bamboo on the fence line, so we are constantly pulling it out because it always comes over to our side. I mean, it is fantastic for many things, but that's why I don't I don't have much bamboo in my own house. And chests and magazines down here. Okay, do we love it? I like it. I think my favorite section's over here though. And cause this is a double story area, we'd like to put this light here, but it's not super long. I mean, I don't know, what do you, oh, that, that's really far away. We could do the trusty spa day lights. I mean, they're super far away as well. I like the rounded ones, the cheeky flex. I guess it doesn't matter if it's really far away because we can just do something cool up here and at least you can see it if you look up or if you're looking over the balustrade. I like these organic patterns because you can just rotate them and they look just nice to even join them. Well they say balance is in threes which is ironic because threes are or three is an odd number which is uneven. Let's also just fix this up so it matches the lower level all to match oh that's another reason why maybe we don't you know what maybe let's not do the curtains in this room because we have double story windows anyway and the brown curtains looked really good in the other room so let's just go back to the brown oh actually i guess we should keep curtains here okay i'm happier now i'm happy is it too much to make this whole entrance area brown all right so down here is our first office is this rug uneven? Girl. Let's turn this into the blue office. Maybe we should make it so like, someone can come in and meet with them. So there's a chair here. It'd be so cool to have an office like this. Coffee there. Although I feel like we need to put some bookshelves in here. Maybe it's a little squishy. Ooh, this is the new shelf. Very nice. That's a nice looking shelf. I've ever seen one and I've seen a few shelves in my life. Oh. I like it. Let's hit save because I am not losing our hard work today. I'm pretty happy with downstairs, are you guys? The only thing I'm questioning now and then is do I repeat the carpet on this side? Because I do think that does look really good. Like even doing the red is kind of cool. And maybe we do the red. I know red and yellow isn't the usual go-to. Mm, we could ditch the yellow, but the yellow is so nice. I was thinking that looks pretty sick. Let's do it. Let's do it. Or do we go back to the brown? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Do we? Don't we? What about brown with brown chairs? There we go. That's what we needed. That is what we needed, folks. The chairs needed to change. Okay, I'm happy now. For the upstairs office, I was playing around with this idea of red wallpaper and then soft green desk. The only thing with this desk is the keyboards are so close to the edge when you put a computer on them, which is, I think it happens with like, yeah, it happens with all of the computers. So it's actually the desk's issue. Well, gold computer. And I don't know, I feel like mint green, red and gold. For some reason to me, that seems like a contemporary Chinese color palette for an interior. And I don't know if that's in my head or if that's true. It definitely let me know. But I really love that color combination. I kind of like the idea of having a vintage lamp too. Is it a vibe? It's a bit of a vibe, a bit of fun. Oh, and you know what? Some of these have the green and red in them. Ah, this is becoming a little bit maximalist. Dang it, that thing in the way. I guess there's not much we can do about that. I think that's a bit much. We need to put something here though. Or do we? Or do we just leave it like how it is? Cause it's art. 
on the wall. Oh, we could use some of the new shelves. We did get a couple of shelves. These glass ones. There we go. We could put a strategic one there to try and cover up that thing. I love when we get newer shelves in the game because they can hold lots of different items, whereas the older ones don't hold many items at all. Basically only like the original green plant from base game. Oh, we can put a cushion up here to cover it up, but that's kind of random. Oh, here we go. Yay, it covered it up. Good work, everybody. A little taxi. Yeah, that's cute. And maybe we make one wall, which is the white. A few of the walls. Just to, you know, soften it a bit. I mean, I like the whole room in the wallpaper, but I feel like the fangs are more like business. Dare I say more bland? I mean, they're clearly not bland in this apartment, but originally they were. This rug is not doing it for me. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. We are slowly edging into maximalist territory. Maybe we just go with another circular rug. Oh, that one's nice. That one almost looks like it has a bit of minty green in it. I know, I feel like the lamp, the vintage lamp is a little big. Let's just go with the one that came with this pack. Cute. I like it. Oh, and then this goes into the bathroom. Let's move that door across. Oh, actually, maybe this should be a diagonal wall. Oh no, but that looks really bad next to this uh, door right here. For this second bedroom, I thought we could go with the pink theme just because I'm really enjoying using this new kit and there's some pink stuff in it. I don't know if I wanna go as far as pink walls as well though. Well, we either do pink walls or pink bed. Oh, actually pink walls with the white bed still looks quite nice. But I think the pink bed looks looks better. So I suppose this is just like a really fun guest room. Wardrobe in. Actually, I don't feel like there's enough room for a built-in wardrobe. Oh, that's cute. Because I want to put the, we'll put the vanity in the main bedroom. I don't think the curtains are tall enough to fit on these windows. Oh, one of my lights just went off. Um, oh, it's, oh, <laughs> it's, it's going crazy. Because this is really interesting. The upper floor is taller than the lower floor. Yeah, I fixed the light. So these aren't actually tall enough, which is a shame because I was looking forward to using the pinky one. That you know what it does mean. I get to use my favorite curtains. The Desert Luxe curtains. Is this painting cute? Or oh, the yellow bluey one? This one's okay. Ooh, and we can use the new leaning mirror. We could do rose gold. Beautiful. Maybe that should go next to the, yeah, next to the chair like that. That's a cute guest room. Let's pop some soap in there, some fresh towels. I mean, I guess you'd want to have some privacy too. So I'm just going to move these across so we can have those curtains there. Oh, but then it's uneven with this wall. That's okay. This bathroom can be pink. No, no, that's too much. We'll go maximalist in another house. We'll just do the brown in here. Okay, now I thought it'd be cool if this is the bathroom for the main bedroom and then they have their wardrobe area in here. So originally I was just gonna do like two built-in wardrobes. So you just go in there and, and there's your wardrobes. Can this extend any further? No, that's gonna, that will delete our staircase. I'm a little bit disappointed with the colors of this bed. Like I get the bed just goes with the rest of the swatches in the pack. But I wish they could just add another row of swatches. Maybe we just continue with the blue theme. Ooh, that's a nice, a nice swatch, the brown and the gold. Maybe they can have the, I don't know, are these giraffes? I think it's a giraffe lamp. Oh, I love this new little bag. That's cute. Oh, this marble head we really need to put somewhere. Maybe right on the entrance table or the coffee table. Oh, that's really cool. I love this. And we were gonna put in the TV. So maybe we can have the TV in line with the bed here. Oh, there's a record player too. Dang it, now I need to put that downstairs as well instead of the uh, chess. Maybe we'll put the mirror here, the basket there. And then we have the TV. And the vanity here. And then we just need curtains. Have to be these ones. And what should we put above the bed? We just put like a really small, simple painting. And perhaps this should be a feature wall over here. And maybe over here as well. Yeah, that's kind of brought it all together, I think. I kind of feel like these bedrooms should be carpeted too. Whoa, the blue carpet's actually kind of cool. 
I'm really well suited to the maximalist vibe right now. Keep saying it. We just do gray because I feel like that's our best option. Okay, I have finished this build. So let's do the final walkthrough. All right, so when you walk into the apartment, it's looking very, very, very fancy and expensive. Welcome to the Feng's house. Uh, the ceilings look amazing. I ended up making this area into a brown color, but the door just glitched out there. And uh, the ceiling does glitch out there as well which is a shame but just in here we have our downstairs bathroom again more glitching with the ceilings the bathtub and then in here is our laundry room a bit hard to get the good angle here but I reckon this dining area and piano area looks so cool like it's so over the top luxe and I really enjoyed exploring the new pack. Um, so let me know if you like this. And then the kitchen in comparison is actually very simple. I really want to get the new counters from the kitchen stuff pack they've announced because I feel like I've been using the Dream Home Decorator counters so much and sometimes they just don't look as elevated and fancy as I want them to be. And a good example of that is in this apartment. I mean, it looks okay though. And then the butler's pantry crosses in there. So it's just like a little bit hidden. So yeah, absolutely love this space. And I like that we moved the staircase. We have a really cute chess area. That's perfect for them to work on their logic skill. Well, that light dropped down. Hey, how did that happen? Well, anyway, this is the lounge room and it's pretty nifty. We finally got the color combination right. It took a while. But yeah, I like how you can see up to the level above. I really like the yellow couches with the brown. Yeah, I think it looks really cool. And then it harmonizes quite nicely with blue on the other side. So love that. Then in here we have the blue office because they are career driven Sims. Beautiful new items there. I wish that was my office. We can go upstairs. So I also made the upstairs landing brown just to make it more rich. And then just to this door here, we have the more eccentric office. This I would imagine is Lily's office. Oh, you like jerks? That's great. That's just great. I just thought we may as well have a fun room in this house. And I really like the colors in here, the green and the red, so pretty. And then in here is just a little powder room. So that could actually be a bedroom if you wanted to move a different family in. So it could be three bed. And here's the second bedroom, which we just turned it into a pink soft room because that's one of the colors that came in the new kit. The yellow there, very pretty. And then a lovely bathroom in here. Fancy toilet, love to see it. And then in here is the main bedroom. So this is quite luxurious. Got a nice walk-in wardrobe in here, clothing basket. And yeah, I think this looks pretty awesome. And then we've got all of the new things in here. And the TV, the frame TV, and then a lovely luxurious bathroom in here as well. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this apartment and which apartment you would like us to do next, or if you have any ideas about what kind of apartment. Thank you so much to my beautiful members for all of your support on the channel. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the link in the description down below to get access to bonus videos. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are in the world, and I cannot wait to speak to y'all soon. Dag dag!